Hello friends this is third part of live table add, edit, delete using Ajax in Laravel, and in this part we will discuss how to edit existing records. Because in previous part we have already discussed how to add or insert new records from inline using Ajax in Laravel framework. So, here on web page, all table column has been editable, we can easily change the content of table column, but we have also change in MYSQL table also. For this we have go to live table.blade.php file, and here we have write dollar with document selector with on method, under this method. We have write blur event with table column class column name, so when cursor leave table column, then this block of code will execute. Under this we have write column name variable is equal to dollar this with data method, with column name, this code will fetch data from data column name attribute, and store under column name variable. Under this we have write column name variable is equal to dollar this with data method, with column name, this code will fetch data from data column name attribute, and store under column name variable. Below this we have write id variable is equal to dollar this with data method, under this method we have write id, this code will fetch value from data id attribute, and store under id variable. Now we have write if statement, and under condition we have write column value variable value is not equal to blank, if this condition false, then it will execute else block of code. And under this block we have write dollar with division tag id message with html method, under this method we have write message like enter some value, this validation message will be display on web page. But suppose above condition true, then it will execute if block of code, under this block we have write dollar dot ajax request. In ajax request we have write first option url set to, root function, under this function we have write live table dot update data, here we have called request to update data method of live table controller. In second option we have write method, and here we have write post, here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option we have write data option, in this option we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have send column name column value, id, and underscore token variable data has been sent to server. Lastly we have called success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully, and it will received from server. Under this function we have write dollar with division tag id message with html method, under this method we have write data, this code will display success message on web page. Now we have moved to write PHP code under live table controller, so here we have make update data function with request argument. Under this function we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar request variable with ajax method, if this method received ajax request, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar data variable is equal to array, in key we have write dollar request variable with column name variable. 
and in value we have write dollar request variable with column value get from ajax request so here we have store ajax data under this dollar data variable below this we have write database class with table method under this method we have write sample table name this method will define table name after this here we have add where method with two argument like id and dollar request variable with id this method will add where clause now we have add update method and under this we have write dollar data variable this method will make update query and run that query and data will be updated after updating data we have write echo statement with message like data updated this message will be seen to user on web page lastly we have to set root of this update data method so we have go to web.php file of roots folder here we have write root class with post method with two argument in first argument we have write slash live table slash update data and in second argument we have write live table at the rate update data method after this we have write name method under this method we have write live table dot update data this is for ajax request so when this url has been hit from ajax request then it will called update data method of live table controller now we have check output in browser friends first we have refresh browser after refreshing page now we can see mysql data in table format on web page here we can see table column content has been editable so we can change content of the table column here in second row of data which we have insert at the time of live insert of data in table now we have edit this row first name column data so here we have change first name leave that column after leave of column above the table we can see success message of update of data now we have refresh web page after refresh of web page here we can see data has been changed so this way we can edit or update of live table data using Ajax in Laravel table. In next part we will discuss how to delete or remove data from live table by using Ajax in Laravel framework. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, Please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.